It has auto steer, which will keep you in your lane, uh, okay. auto lane change. All the active safety features, of course, like automatic emergency braking and side collision uh, warning, but we've now taken that one step fur further to uh, side collision avoidance, which actually, even if you're not in autopilot, will steer out of the way for you slightly so that you don't hit an object or another car if you're not paying attention. And then auto parking, which uh, is what it sounds like. It's parallel parking. Some cars have that, except they all require you to use the throttle to control uh, the turns. Okay. And Model S does not. You literally just put the car in reverse when you see a parking spot. It'll detect the parking spot with a little peel up here because it's constantly scanning to see if it finds any open spaces for you. So it's still up to me to point it in the right direction, right? I can't like type in a navigation point you somewhere. Have, you okay. still have to, yeah. So it's auto steer right now um, because all the cars have free over the air software updates. Uh, we will iterate and improve on autopilot in coming months. So when I do get on a road, what do I push to make it do auto drive? So on the, the left-hand side of your wheel, there are two sticks. One of them uh, is your turn signal, and the other one is uh, cruise control. When you press it in, you start cruise control, but if you press it towards you, pull it towards you quickly twice, mm -hmm. that will engage autopilot when that little gray wheel appears. And this all works when you're driving. That's this all works when you're driving. That's cool. Yeah. A, a, lot of, uh, a lot of cars lock that stuff out whenever you're moving. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Which which is always really annoying because just like right now you're in the passenger seat. There's more than one person in a car a lot of times. There we go. There we go. Oh, always keep yeah. your hands on the wheel. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay. Don't worry. This is I'm not me. I'm not, not driving. Okay. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Okay. So the car in front of it is blue. Well, now it's gray. Um, when it's blue, that means it's it's receiving feedback from the car in front of it, so it's following that car. Okay. When it's gray like this, it's reading off of the lines in the road. Okay. Uh oh, oh some guy's gonna. Go. It'll be okay. It's got it. Well, now it's disabled, so now you will oh. hit the brake. Oh, oh, because oh, okay. It, uh, okay, so it found the speed limit sign somewhere. It did. So it has a um, forward facing camera, so it's reading the signs as okay. it's passing. But we're still only doing 27. You can push that stock up five miles an hour. Okay. And it will adjust your speed. So right now it's gonna cap it at 30. See that little uh, cruise control button on the. We've got the steering wheel on the right side and a cruise control button on the left side. Right. There's sensors all around the car and that's what this little, uh, that's what the car is showing you here, I guess. There, there's ultrasonic sensors at 360 degrees around the car yes. I can measure. And it's kind of pinging and saying there's cars there and there and there and there. 360, that measures 16 feet in every direction of the vehicle. Hmm. You have a long range forward radar in this car as well as a forward looking camera. That's what's picking up the okay. signs. Uh, you also have GPS in the car too. So it's constantly learning. It's using those four uh, ways of feedback. So, oh my God, I couldn't, I, 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 that was me. I instinctively hit the brake. Oh, it takes some getting used to, man. Turn that. Like twist Rotate it? it. Twist okay. it uh, two more times, please. Oh, Maybe down? Other, other way. There we go. Bring so, it down, bring it down to three. Okay. So there we go. This That's is, good. what That's is that? That's the responsiveness of, uh, of how many car lengths it will leave in front of you. Okay. Just keep your hands on the wheel. Okay, we're auto driving and stopping assisted driving, whatever. Oh, that is nicer. Do I have to like move the steering wheel every once in a while? Will it will it auto shut off somehow? No, it won't auto shut off. So every once in a while, it'll tell you to put your hands on the wheel just to okay. make sure that you're still there. It'll do that when it's, um, when the feedback that it's receiving from the road is less than you know what it, what it feels completely confident doing on its own. Oh, we're gonna switch lanes here, automated lane switching. And then you just have to disable it with the turn signal too. Oh, okay. Raising suspension based on location. So it, it realizes there's lots of potholes here. Exactly. So the suspension's gonna go up. That's awesome. Why did it beat that? Hold steering wheel. Just, oh, okay. Just reminded you. Even if I don't turn any of this on, it still has emergency brake features, right? That just kind yes. of happen all the yeah, time. Yeah, even if autopilot's not on, you still have all of your uh, okay. yeah, cause there's still your active safety features. Ooh, so it won't detect the red lights? Not not yet, Okay. No. But it will read, so it, read, it, it reads speed limit signs. Will it read stop signs? It has all of the technology in place to read red lights and to read stop signs. It will not react and respond to those yet because the system was built for highways. It was okay. definitely not built for 12th Avenue okay. in New York as okay. we're testing it today.